Hello friends, today I'm sharing the recipe for uh, uh, alu chaat that, that made the way in street side, especially in Delhi, in Chandni Chowk. Uh, I've just uh, cubed the regular potato. And you can't put that into the pan, and then just you know, uh, with little oil, don't deep fry it uh, in a wok. Just like this, arrange the potatoes so that every surface is touching uh, the wok hot surface, so that you can get the, get the browning on the side. And then, after five minutes, you can flip over each and every side, uh, and then after like. 15 to 20 minutes everything will be get you know it will be cooked so once you start flipping these one by one you get this even browning in each and every piece so it's a big time taking process but then you need to make sure almost all side gets evenly browned and uh, simultaneously it will be cooking inside as well if you want you can sprinkle a bit of a pinch of salt over it for faster cooking and uh, uh, one or two pinches of you know sugar if you want uh, caramelization a strong caramelization. Now once it's browned I will just sprinkle a bit of asphytida powder for that extra taste and then I'll take it off the flame and start mixing my spices. Now this uh, fried potato is ready. Now I'll put in uh, half of the lime, uh, roasted jeera powder, some chaat masala, some dry pudina powder, some chutney, green chutney with sesame flavor and some red sauce, chili sauce. I use, uh, uh, you know, you can use uh, uh, jaljeera powder or gulgappe masale or chaat masala. This has combination of so many spices, you get the best flavor, that street effect out here. Uh, lemon is customizable, you can put it as much as you want. And if you want a bit more spicy, you can put in some paprika red chili powder as well. So now I'll start putting the spices out here. These spices are fully customizable, so you can put it as much as you want that suits your palate. And if at all you want, then you can put in some black salt. Just this chaat masala has its own salt right here. I'll put in this chutney and then. If you want, you can put in the sweet tamarind chutney or sweet tomato chutney as well and then completely mix it. And then I'll put the lemon juice in it. So after mixing all the components, you can see each and every potato piece, aloo piece is heavily coated with spices and sauce in the chutney so that you get the fun of each and every piece. And then you can start eating it hot and we will relish it all time. Thank you.